Today in our 2016 Mitsubishi Outlander, we're going to take a look at and also show you how to install the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector. Part number is 118277. When we need it, we can simply open up our hatch door, bring our wiring out. It's okay to let it hang right over the threshold here. It's going to give us enough padding to allow it to to be protected. We just of course want to avoid our striker area there. Now this is what our wiring kit is going to look like when you pull it out of your package. The nice thing about the converter box is that this is going to isolate the trailer from our vehicles. We don't have to worry about any shorting in our vehicle system. And since this does receive power from the battery through the wire that we're going to be hooking up, we're not going to have to worry about it drawing power through the lights and causing an overload on that system. Now this wiring kit is rated for amperage right up to what the factory amperage tow package is so you should have no problem pulling your cargo carriers or appropriately sized trailers behind your Outlander. This is what's going to give us our signals. We're going to have our right turn and brake, our left turn and brake, our running lights and our ground for our trailer. And you'll see dust cap that will fit over there and protect it. Now this is going to be inside of the vehicle so we don't anticipate getting a lot of dust and moisture in there but that loop that holds that plug on can be very helpful for bundling up our wiring inside of the rear of the car. To make our install a little bit easier they've given us some zip ties. I usually use a couple of extra that are just a little bit longer more in the 12 inch range so you might want to have those on hand. They're going to provide us with our fuse they're going to provide us with our self-tapping screw, which we can use to secure the ring terminal on our ground wire. Now to determine if we do have the factory prep package, we'll start here at our intake, or kind of where it brings the air to our air filter. Just underneath that is going to be the battery. You see that right here. If we look down on the frame, there are a couple of grounds, one here and one here. And then you should have a plug that's been taped up right here on this wire line. If you have that, you're going to have the factory tow prep package. Now we'll get started here in the back. We need to let's pull this up. We need to take out the tray that's here in the bottom. We've got a Phillips screw on each side here to remove. Then we can just lift that right up and out. Now we'll pull down on our grocery loop there and remove the Phillips screw behind it set it aside. Now if we pull out gently across the bottom here and then pop upward we should be able to pull this rear fascia cover off. And then we'll have a small Phillips screw right in this pocket to remove as well. Then we can gently pull out on that panel and just kind of raise it up here and get it out of the way. And down right here in the middle we've got another push fastener. That'll allow us just to bring that out slightly to where we can get in behind there and do our work. Now depending on your setup, you'll want to either look around the back side of the motor housing here if you have a powered rear door. If not, this is area will be open and you'll be able to look right here on this wiring harness that comes kind of from the front of the vehicle and located right here closer to the rear of the vehicle is going to be our plug. There'll be a little bit of electrical tape on it there. so. We'll trim that off and we'll, you know, avoid cutting any other wires. Just want to get the tape. There you see, ready to plug in. All right, now we'll stretch out our four pole wire and just let it rest here in the bottom of the vehicle. Got our plug from our wiring harness. That's going to plug right into the plug we just uncovered. You want to squeeze it until you hear that click. You see we've got that fully connected there. Now if we look just to the front of the car from our motor assembly and just above where our plug is, we're going to see a small bolt right there. We're going to use that bolt to secure our ground. And we'll do that using the 10 millimeter socket. And you'll see that bolt is going to pass right through there. Bring it up and we can put that right back into position. Now for our converter box here, I'm just going to run one zip tie right through that top tab and we're going to go right around the wire loom that our plug was mounted to. 
You can see with a couple zip ties, we're able to get this mounted up here nice and securely, out of the way, nice and solid. At that point, we'll just get everything put back together. Now once you pop these panels back in place, it's a good idea to pull that weather stripping back out. Not only that keep dust and stuff from getting in there, but it also helps hold it in place. Now we can get our tray set back in. When we do, I want to lift up on this wire. Allow our tray to go back down where it started. And we can use this low gap to run our wire through. Then what I like to do is just bunch it up. We'll fold that over and then just bring that around to secure our wiring. All right, now we'll bring our stuff up for the front of the vehicle here. Just like before, we want to free up that plug. Now this one's on the outside of the vehicle, so it does have a cap on it. You press in on this little tab right here on the back. Pull that out. Take our new harness, it's going to plug right into it. You hear that little clip, make sure we can push and pull on it. Then we'll run that right around to our battery. See there, we'll remove that 12 millimeter nut, put our ring terminal right down on it. Now we'll get our fuse slit in our fuse holder here and we'll be ready to test out our wiring. Now to test it out, we're just gonna use part number I26 here and we should see our lights light up accordingly. We'll start with our running lights. And we can do our left blinker, our right blinker, and our brakes. Now once we've checked out our wiring and we're sure that it's working as it should be, then we can just zip tie off the little bit of extra we'll have right over here to the wire loom our plug was attached to. Now with everything working properly, that's going to complete our installation of the Deconcha T1 vehicle wiring harness, part number 118277 on our 2016 Mitsubishi Outlander. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.